This video is about to start, but first, a word from our sponsor. Alright guys, so by now, those of you who follow my channel will know that I do a lot of mechanical tutorials videos here on this channel on my motorcycles, snowmobiles, whatever I have. But what you might not know is that I have another passion, and that's cartooning. So, for all you vintage sled fanatics out there who follow my channel for my vintage snowmobile content, and any of those of you who love to just work on engines in general, I put together this book of vintage snowmobile themed comic strips called Respect the Classics. Each cartoon in this book is written off of personal experience that I've had working on or riding vintage snowmobiles, so you're sure to see something you'll relate to in this book. So if you're the kind of person who loves to laugh, or if you just love vintage snowmobiles, or if you have a snowmobiling buddy who you know will love this book, head on over to the eBay link in the description below, pick up one for yourself, you'll be sure to enjoy it. It will give you many hours of laughter. Thanks for watching the ad, now onto the video. We've got kind of a different project here today. Um, the shift lever broke off on, the, on our John Deere 7020 here. And so myself and my brother, who's been on the channel a few times so far lately, um, we're going to be getting it off there and then getting it welded and then putting it back on. So without further ado, let's find something to drive out the pin holding the shift lever in. So this is the shift lever in here. Right, let's see if I can show you that. There's not much room in here, but it snapped off right here. And there's obvious signs that it's been welded before from snapping. Um, anyway, this is the pin we have to remove to get this out of here and make it easier to weld. So we're going to, since we don't have a punch for this, the right size, we're going to take a bolt uh, that's the same size as the pin, put it in back here and just tap the pin out with a hammer. So far it's been working okay. You can see we've driven it out just a bit. So we just got to finish that. That's as far as this bolt can reach. It's almost out. Alright, it's off. So the plan here today is to take this and this, clean them off first of course, and rather than just welding them together and hoping they stick, we're going to reinforce it with some pipe here. It's slightly bigger than that, so we're going to have to cut it down the middle and clamp it down. But hopefully that will be enough to hold, hold it in place, not let it fall apart again while we're in the middle of plowing or something important. That's the plan anyway.
here's what we got. What we're going to do is try to fit it in the tractor and see, because this might not fit through the um, opening on the dashboard. So we're just going to check and see if it fits, and if not, grind it down a little bit. Alright, so it fits now, as you can see. He had to grind off quite a bit on the sides, so he's going to weld up the open spots on there. And then, it should be ready to go back together and be finished. Alright, it's been reinforced and it fits. Now we just gotta give it a quick coat of paint so that it won't rust. Nice. Quick coat of paint on there. Now we're putting it back in. Just have to make sure you got it lined up. Just a little more. That's it. There. Now we just got to get the um, cover installed over that.
Well, that's it for today's video, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you with the next video.